Welcome to the mini series on the job of an athlete. Um, the first uh, thing I'd like to kind of touch on is that athletes in high school are an extremely amazing group to coach. Um, and I sincerely love my position in coaching them. And as their coach, I like to not only just help them with obviously long and triple, but also life and just preparing them for uh, whatever it might be. I, as a coach, try to give 120% of myself to the athletes during my track season. And this website was created to try to give that much more to them in the off season. Which brings me to my first point of uh, what a, an athlete's job really is, and that's to give 120% themselves. Too often do I have athletes that tell me they're fully committed or when the season ends, uh, tell me that they want to do everything they can to get better next year. Uh, but too often as well, those same athletes, unfortunately, just believe that their God-given abilities and talents are going to get them to that next level. If you're an athlete, you need to be 120% committed to any sport that you are involved in. Um, because if you're not, you're going to let things pass you by. And I'm not putting this video out there to be hard on athletes that have not followed through or athletes that have not given 120%, I'm doing this to help you be the best possible you that you can be. Um, I have seen athletes that absolutely dominated in college go to, or excuse me, high school, go to the next level in college and unfortunately fizzled because they thought the God-given abilities they had that helped them dominate high school would continue in college. And to be a coach and to give as much as I have of myself to my athletes and to see individuals not giving 120% is extremely hard. Not for me, but for me to know that that'll take them nowhere. Um, if you are too wrapped up in your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if you are too wrapped up in other things in life and can't fully commit I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a waste of time. And the unfortunate thing is when I was younger, I myself did not really fully grasp that. As a high schooler, I think many of you feel like you're invisible or invincible, I should say, excuse me, and that you can pretty much do and, and accomplish anything you want to. But the cold, hard reality of it is that you need to truly, truly give yourself to the sport the things that you're committed to. And if you don't, if you give 15, 20, even 80%, you're going to later regret it like I do because I did the same thing in high school. Um, the reason I chose this photo is because of Peyton here. And uh, this isn't obviously a, a picture of her competing, but Peyton is an absolute student of track and field. Uh, and she loves the sport uh, more than I could probably even say in this video. Her dedication and her passion for the sport are evident in everything she does. Uh, this girl spends countless hours in the gym working out and trying to polish herself to be the best that she can possibly be. And she's going to be uh, moving on to college to compete next year. And I have no doubt that she'll do wonderful there because of her wonderful work ethic. Um, I was gone during this specific meet in this picture here, and I knew that the other athletes there competing, which were uh, freshmen, would be in great hands because Peyton was going to coach them. And she stepped up to the plate, and I knew because of her just desire to be involved in everything track and field and to be a part of everything and the effort she's always put in, I knew the athletes would do great, and they did. And this is the kind of thing that I, as a coach, really want to see athletes do. Again, not for myself, but for you, the athlete. If you truly want to do something great, you have to give the effort. You have to give the time. 
And when I have athletes contacting me from other countries because they're interested in becoming better um, and they think the things I'm giving to them are absolutely out of this world amazing, which are the same things I give to my athletes here at the high school level, you know, in Sun Prairie uh, weekly, that speaks volumes to their intensity or their desire to get better or their interest in getting better. And that's something that I want all athletes that I coach or to come in contact with, that'll most likely never happen, to feel, okay, even if you're not the greatest jumper, the greatest runner, the greatest thrower or whatever it might be, giving 120% of yourself means more to me as a coach than those other individuals who might be those varsity starters who give 15% of themselves. So for all athletes listening to this video, 120%. Give everything you got. Give nothing less than your best effort. That's what we are looking for as coaches, and I can promise you if you do that, you will never have regrets like I personally do from my uh, time in high school competing in sports. All right, good luck.